Everyone wants to know, how much do car dealers pay for the used cars because it's key to negotiations. Today I'm going to cover information that nobody is talking about and has never been covered on YouTube. You my friend will no longer be in the dark on how much car dealers are paying for their used cars. How awesome is that? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homework Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This amazing video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of The Homework Guy team and our super high intensity training program for car buyers. If you decide you like our message and want one of these awesome shirts or hoodies like this one, well, just check the merch shelf down below and suit yourself up. There are three key strategies you can use to determine used car prices at a wholesale level, and that information tells you exactly what car buyers are paying for their used cars. You can choose to use one of the methods or all three to verify what wholesale cost of any vehicle is. We are going to start by walking you through six vehicle scenarios on the market today for sale as of this recording and show you how much the dealer paid for these cars. It is often said that Kelly Blue Book numbers are wrong. You've probably heard it many times. They get the trade wrong, they get dealer prices wrong. However, you need to understand that even wrong numbers are useful when they are consistently wrong because if you know where the right numbers are relative to those wrong numbers, you'll always know how to get access to the right information. And that, my friends, is precisely what we're going to do here today. We're going to show you how to use Kelly Blue Book to your advantage, how to get dealers to tell you what the wholesale purchase price of a car is, and how you can use your banker to get the ACV, the actual cash value of any car on the market. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers and the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at thehomeworkguy.com with a specific question or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. Before we're done, we're going to explain how you can get a dealer to tell you what any used car was purchased for and how you can get your banker to give you the actual cash value of any vehicle on the market. That's coming up at the end. Before we do that, we're going to start by giving you six scenarios of vehicles for sale right now in the market and how you can use Kelly Blue Book, despite your understanding that these numbers are off, to determine how much the car dealer paid for the vehicle. Some background on Kelly Blue Book. For years, car dealers have told their customers that Kelly Blue Book values are way off with the claim that it's outdated information. They give no explanation beyond that. They just say they're way out of date. Interestingly, dealers use Kelly Blue Book numbers every day to send to their own bankers for in-house loan approvals. And your own banker still uses Kelly Blue Book. And that should tell you something. What does the dealer know? What does their in-house banks know? What does your own banker know that you might not know? And how to use this information to make decisions on car loans? This gets so good. Well, let me illuminate. Kelly Blue Book updates their information on the odd months of the year. The information that they put out online will be most accurate in the first week of January, March, May, July, September, and November. Six months out of the year and all the odd months. Why then? Simple. That's when they sync up their wholesale book values available to dealers and bankers only and then adjust their published trade values, private party numbers, and dealer retail numbers. If you are looking up a vehicle in the early part of any odd month, everything you see is reflective of current market values. Those numbers will move a little bit over the next 60 days, but movement is generally so incrementally small that the little bit of difference it makes is almost no difference a majority of the time. So if you understand all of this, you now know that when a dealer tells you that Kelly Blue Book is out of date, well, they have never told you this story. And now you're going to find out how to easily adjust any number on KBB to also get it right. We're showing you the exact dealer listing for the vehicle and we're not going to hide the dealer who has it listed. Maybe you're in their neck of the woods and want to go wheel and deal on that specific vehicle. Well, more power to you. All right, let's get started cracking the code on how much car dealers pay for used cars. Every one of these vehicles that we go through, we're gonna be looking at the low trade values on Kelly and showing you the bracket that the dealer is always targeting and then verify it with the other couple of methods that we'll show you at the end. That's the number the dealer's gonna to try to buy this vehicle every single time. Let's run through the scenarios. 
The first vehicle is a black 2018 Toyota Camry LE. Has 26,341 miles on it. Current dealer list is 14,995. If you book this out in Kelly Blue Book, let's jump over to the trade numbers on this. So Kelly publishes a trade low, trade mid, trade high. The only one that's important is the trade low. It's at 13,733. What a dealer is going to try to do is buy this car from somebody trading it in at $500 below the trade low number or as much as $100 over. So the range then becomes $13,233 to a high number of $13,833. A majority of the time, those are the numbers that the dealer is going to try to buy this vehicle at. So let's take a $500 pack. Now, a pack is commonly known as money dealer uses to recondition a vehicle, but pack is an acronym. PAC stands for protected against commission. So now on this vehicle, they own it for $14,333. If you add a $1,250 profit to this vehicle, it comes out to a price of $15,583. This vehicle is listed at $14,995. Compared to most dealer cars, this is a steal. The actual dealer profit on this vehicle, including its pack, is $1,162. We go now to a red 2019 Chevy Cruze LT. This vehicle has 7,027 miles on it. It's listed at the dealer $16,790. Let's go take a look over here at where the trade numbers are on Kelly Blue Book. The low number in trade is 12,153. Minusing the 500 and adding 100 gives us a bracket of 11,653 up to 12,253. Now we're gonna assume that they paid the high dollar and then added 500 bucks to it for lot pack. That gives me 12,753 and adding a dealer profit of $1,250 brings me to a price of 14,003. The reason why this number is important is because you could negotiate all the way down to that number from its list price of 16,790 and this dealer would still be getting a fair deal for them. However, at the price they have it listed at, that is dealer fat of $2,787 on here. So after all is said and done, including their pack number, if this dealer sold it to you for $16,790, they will make make $4,537 on this vehicle. <laughs> Here's a silver 2016 Honda Odyssey SE, 47,965 miles on it, listed at 19,495. We jump over here to the Kelly trade numbers. The low number again is 14,125. That gives it a bracket of 13,625 to up to 14,225. That's what the dealer paid the person who traded this vehicle in. Now we jump over here and add a dealer lot pack of 500 bucks onto this, brings us to 14,725. A dealer profit of $1,250 brings us to 15. 975. The dealer could sell that car to you and still be okay, but they're trying to sell it at $19,495. That is dealer fat of $3,520 on top of the profits I've already shared. So total dealer profits come to $5,270 on this vehicle. <laughs> Next is a silver 2017 Mercedes-Benz E-Class E300. 44,713 miles on this vehicle. Current dealer list is 28,795. The trade numbers on Kelly Blue Book. The low number shows 22,848. Gives us a bracket of 22,348 and 22,948. Assuming they paid the high number and adding the $500 lot pack gives me 23,448. That'd be the number they show on the books now that they own it for. Add a $1,250 profit to it. We're at 24,698. This dealer again has it listed for $28,795, $4,097 in additional dealer fat, and this dealer will profit when all is said and done, $5,847 on this vehicle. <laughs> Next is a silver 2019 Chevy Suburban four-wheel drive LT. 33,475 is the miles. It's listed at 42,995. We jump over to the trade numbers. You see this has a low trade value of 35,944. That gives us a bracket of 35,444 up to 36,044. We take that number and add $500, gives us 36,544. Now our dealer profit of 1250 on that vehicle, 37,794 is what you could negotiate down to. This dealer has the vehicle listed again, 42,995. So the dealer fat is $5,201. This dealer, if you should pay the number they have it listed at, expects to make $6,951 on this vehicle. <laughs> Now the Greedy Dealer of the Week award goes to a white 2017 Lexus NX200T. This vehicle has 53,383 miles on it. 
it's currently listed at 25079 We jump over to the low trade number that is 17961 The dealer bought this for a maximum of 18061 We add in a $500 dealer lot pack to give us 18561 Add a dealer profit of $1,250 to bring us to 19811 That is what the dealer could sell that vehicle for and still be just fine. However, they have it listed at 25079 That is additional dealer fat of $5,000. $268 if you let them sell it to you for that number. $7,018 is the profit this dealer expects to net on this car. <laughs> Now, if you noticed in each one of these scenarios, we were always using the low trade number, subtracting 500 or adding $100 to come up with a range. And that is the number that will generally be showing up on the auction numbers. And that's the number that will generally be showing up on the actual cash value numbers that your own banker has. That's the actual number a vehicle can be purchased for and dealers always add packs. This $500 pack was just an example, but in many cases, it can be $1,200 or $2,000, and then they're still adding a dealer profit on top of that. Just so you understand, if you wanna know what a dealer is actually paying out of pocket for a car, you have to look at the low trade number, and it's always at the high end of the number the dealer is targeting. Now, everything you saw here relative to Kelly Blue Book and how to interpret their numbers to learn how much car dealers are paying for used cars hits the nail on the head within very close numbers. Plenty close enough for you to know what the dealer is likely paying within a few hundred bucks. They don't vary much outside of that. However, I promise I'd give you two more techniques to determine how much a car dealer pays for a used car, and you're going to love how this works. Here's the second strategy for determining how much car dealers pay for a used car, and this strategy actually gets the dealer to give you the information you want. First, find a used car you're interested in that's available on the market right now. Then, write down all the pertinent information, the year, make, model, trim level, and additional information about value-added items like bed liners or step rails, grill guards, etc. Things like that. You also need the exact miles on the vehicle. I can't stress enough. You need an exact description and the exact miles. Now, take your current vehicle to a totally different dealer, not the one you found the vehicle at that you want, and tell them you're just getting started car shopping and would like to know what they think your car is worth on trade-in. It's key to make sure that they think you're interested in working with them. Meet the used car manager or the vehicle appraiser who is going to book out your current car and be clear that you're not starting your shopping process until you have a good trade appraisal. Emphasize that you just want to make sure that it's fair. Use the word fair. When they give you an appraisal, they will likely give you a Kelly Blue Book printout that shows wholesale value, that book value that only dealers and bankers have. And you'll notice it is at the lowest number shown on Kelly Blue Book or right below it in the trade value category, as if your car is in rough shape. Review the printout and tell the dealer the numbers are off, and then explain that you're aware of Mannheim, one of the largest dealer auctions with wholesale prices on cars. Ask the car appraiser to look up the car on the auction and then have him show you what it's going for on Mannheim. The car appraiser thinks he has you now because those Mannheim numbers are going to be right in the ballpark of what he just showed you on Kelly Blue Book moments earlier. As he goes through the list of cars, write down the price Mannheim has for your car next to the Kelly Blue Book wholesale price that he printed out for you moments earlier. Now that you've seen both numbers, Kelly and Mannheim, Make it clear that you think the information you're looking at is fair. Good stuff to know. Now, you tell him you have another vehicle you'd like to trade in and give him the specifics on the car that you found at another dealer lot. He'll understand that one driver can't drive in two cars, so it's not here. However, you want the same info on that vehicle too. With you watching, have him go through the same search on your prospective vehicle. When you're done, you now have the wholesale cost of the other car you were shopping for as well. The dealer just showed you what that car went for wholesale. Boom! Wasn't that awesome? Okay, here's the third strategy. Getting your own banker to give you the ACV, the actual cash value of a vehicle you're interested in buying. Don't do this until you're pretty sure this is the vehicle that you want. Again, find the vehicle you believe you want from any dealer or private party seller. Be pretty confident this is the vehicle you intend to buy, so you should already have done all the test drives, done all the homework, and ready to move forward to putting numbers on paper. Call your own banker and let them know you'd like to apply for a car loan. Explain that you plan to put 20% or more down 
and finance the balance for a reasonable term. Ask them for the book value on the vehicle so you know if the car loan is a good value for you and low risk for them. The bank officer will give you the ACV or wholesale book value of the vehicle you're wanting a loan for. Courtesy of your banker, you have the same information you could have gotten from the Kelly Blue Book method we explained earlier or the method of getting the car dealer themselves to give you the actual cash value of the car. You now have that information from three sources. If you're not confident with any of these, like I said, you can use one, use two, or use all three. You'll be amazed how close those numbers are, and that will be just as good as any information the car dealer has on any given day of the week as far as wholesale prices for used cars. For any of you good guys in the car business, salesmen, finance officers, dealer owners, used car managers, wholesalers, whatever you do, if you want to contribute to our future content on this channel, feel free to email us at info at and put in the title, salesman who wants to help. Put that in the title or whatever your job title is, used car manager wants to help. You'll hear back from us just like the many others who help us and you can be a part of solving the problem in the car business today. All right, if you appreciate the video today, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below using hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and make sure you join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on other social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks for the tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see showing up on the screen here, you'll find them in the description box down below. The homework guy team has helped millions of car buyers with videos free contract reviews, market updates, and much more, and we'll always have your back with more great content. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video, or stop in to say hello on Facebook or Twitter. It's been a great ride producing video for all of you and hearing your feedback. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.